Hello, my name is Davor Kovacets and I am Zylon founder and CEO. The topics of my presentation will be complete heterogeneous sensor fusion and validation design framework for next generation automotive applications. So first let me uh, explain you hardware elements. We have a LiDAR, LiDAR from Oster, then we have uh, cameras and we have a uh, Versal VCK190 board, this is the one. And we have a um, Xylon FMC GMSL uh, expansion ca card for, for Versal platform VCK190, but also for other, other Xilinx platforms. So let me start how this is, how these uh, hardware interfaces or devices are connected to the, to the Versal board. So we have a LiDAR, a LiDAR is connected via this, that TIC cable. So this is automotive Ethernet. Then we have conversion box, which converts automotive interface uh, Ethernet to the um, office, office Ethernet, and that office Ethernet is connected to the one giga RJ45 Ethernet connector on, on VCK190. Uh, the, the Ethernet is via Ethernet Phi uh, connected to Ethernet controller inside a Versal SOC, and LiDAR is is sending data and also Versal is sending control, control data to the LiDAR, uh, I mean through the software application. The cameras, we have uh, six cameras, you can see them here, there are six of them. Uh, this is a 2.3 megapixel camera with ISP on board, uh, so the raw image, image data from sensor is processed. We have a color, color video output. This color video output is transferred via GMSL uh, uh, channel. This DMS, uh, GMSL two channel uh, uh, communication is using uh, coax cable. This is very often, uh, uh, often, often used in the automotive applications. Uh, the GMSL is received on our um, uh, FMC GMSL two card. We have GMSL deserializers and. Um, Output from GMSL deserializer is MIPI interface. The video data is transferred via MIPI to the, to the Versal IOS. We take a look at the monitor. Now we are seeing uh, six, uh, simultaneously six video streams from six cameras. They are uh, scaled, cropped and tiled on a single screen. This is a live video. They are running at 30 frames per second. You know, if I now wave my hand in front of them, you will see that it's <laughs> actually is um, uh, displayed on the, on the monitor. Uh, and so, so, so this is, this is processed, imaged and tiled on the screen. We can further process the image by inserting some processing element. And in our case, this is a Sobel filter. And here, when we move to the Sobel filter, Sobel filter is now in, in, inserted on a, on a first camera. And that Sobel filter is an example of processing block. Of course, in your application, you would kick out Sobel filter and put your, uh, the latest and greatest image processing block in, in, in this design and you will, you will test it. So this is, this is one mode. Let me go back. Yeah, let me go back. And the other mode is where we are showing, uh, instead of camera one, we are showing a LiDAR uh, 3D map. This is point cloud. And you can see that there is a person in the, in the corner of a, of a room that is, you know, walking around. Or if, if I would move, you know, around, you will see me somewhere. <laughs> In that image, uh, the, the image is is color coded. Basically, close objects to the lidar, and I am close to the lidar. You know, if I would do this, so I would occlude the lidar lidar beam. Uh, they are color coded, so the red is close to the lidar, the yellow is far from the radar, and green is even more far from the from the lidar. And here with the mouse. I can move the point of view and basically, you know, change how you will see LiDAR image. 
And of course, LiDAR still works and <laughs> you see the, in that changed image. I can zoom it, I can pan it, and I can rotate it in every, every direction. So yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much about the hardware elements and you know, short about what is the content of the demo.